Hi everyone! My name is Abdul Rahman Siddiqui, aka Pakistani Pepper. I'm a high school teacher and Google Certified Educator. On my channel, I create videos helping teachers use Google Classroom in their classroom. But the one thing I haven't done, weirdly enough, is to actually create a tutorial for students. So today, I'm creating this tutorial for students on how to use Google Classroom as a student in 2020. I'll show you how to register for a class, complete an assignment, check the assignment before submitting, submit the assignment, send private comments to your teacher, receive feedback on your assignment, and resubmit in case you want to add anything. I'll also show you how to submit different types of files to your classroom and take full advantage of anything your teacher has shared with you. So let's get to it for our Google Classroom tutorial for students. Begin by going to google.com. In the top right corner, click on the sign in button and sign in using your school email. Accept Google's policies. Click on the top right button on the apps and go to classroom.google.com. It's going to ask you for the first time if you're a student or teacher, go ahead and continue and of course click student. On the top right there's a plus button that tells you to join your first class. Go ahead and do that. When you hit that plus button it's going to ask you for a code. This code you're going to have to get from your teacher. So whatever code your teacher gives you, go ahead and put it in here. That will let you register for the class. And now you're in English 101, the code that I had for my class. Here you'll see three things. The first thing is the stream. That lets you see any upcoming work on the left side with due dates. It also shows you any of the assignments and comments that your teacher has recently posted for the rest of the class. Over here, you can also actually post your own comments. And where it says share with your class, if your teacher allows it, you can share attachments from your computer. You can share things from your drive, you can share YouTube videos, and you can share external links, anything that might help your classmates. At this point, go ahead and go to people and make sure you're in the right class. On the top right, you'll see the teacher, and you'll see any of your classmates. I only have one in this case. Then finally we go to the real deal, the classwork. Here if you notice on the left side they have all the different formats for the classwork, the different topics that the teacher has given, and the teacher has provided you with four things. Three of them, if you notice in the view your work section on the top, three of them are assignments you have to complete. And if you notice, conveniently, under classwork, they are all in blue. The fourth one at the bottom is a link. This link is what your teacher gave you, that link to the entire Romeo and Juliet, in my case. I can go ahead and read it before I do any of the assignments. Now at this point, the first assignment in blue is the Romeo and Juliet short answer questions. I can see the due date on the right and it was due and it's still missing. So now I'm going to go and I'll view assignment and from here I'm going to click on the link once again to read everything. I'll click on the rubric that my teacher gave me to see what my answer should look like. I'll click on the YouTube video. The famous to watch it before I can answer and then finally I'll be able to post my answer. Technically my answer should have been in the your work section. As you can see it says here that the teacher copied something for you but it was removed because I joined the class later. So I click on make a copy and now it's copying the original template that my teacher had given. Now I click on it and voila this is the assignment that my teacher gave accept their privacy rules, and go ahead and start typing in your answers right in that document. 
Now, if you notice, I made two mistakes in my spelling. Now, I'm going to go on each individual word, right-click on top of it, and it gives me the right spelling. But that's a lot of work, and I have to make sure I find every word. For longer assignments, that's tough. So what I do is I go towards the top, and on the left where it says Tools, I click on that, and I click on Spelling and Grammar. Check. I can click that word, and it's just going to automatically correct that and tell me that the document looks good. At this point, I can click Turn In. Once again, it tells me that once I click Turn In, I will be submitting the assignment. So I'll click Turn In. Now that that's done, I can actually send a private comment to my teacher explaining why my assignment was late or whatever the reason may be. And now here's the really interesting part. If I click on that assignment once it's submitted, you can see that now it's view only because I've submitted it to the teacher. So I can't make edits anymore. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'll click unsubmit. So if my teacher allows me that option, I can actually just unsubmit, retype answers that I was missing, And once again, it auto saves. I see that all changes saved in the drive. And now I can once again click turn in with my updated answers. If I actually needed to add something more, I can also go here to add and add something from my Google Drive, my link, or a file from my computer because I know some people prefer to type in Word instead of Google Docs. I can also add my own Google Docs, slides, sheets, drawing, whatever I want. The point is, I don't have to submit just what the teacher asked. I can submit whatever I need to. And now I click Turn In. And with that, that assignment is done. And I know that because when I go back to classwork, I've actually got a gray where the blue used to be. The next assignment, of course, is the quiz. Once again, I click on it, click View Assignment. And now it's missing. And the teacher told me that after reading Act 1, take this quiz. So I click on it. And then I can start answering questions, whether it's the short answer or the multiple choice. I send a copy to my responses as well. And as you can see, I can view my score as soon as I submit. Some teachers allow that. If you notice, I got everything wrong. But the short answers, my teacher has to check manually. So if that says wrong, I wouldn't worry about it yet. But I got a 0 out of 100. So maybe I should vary just a little. Either way, as you can see, since I've submitted the quiz in, it automatically turned that in as well. And if I want, I can unsubmit and retake. Some teachers allow that. I go back to classwork. This assignment is also great instead of the blue. And the last one. I click on it, and it seems just like a question, but it's getting cut off. So I'll click on view question and it says, how are you guys liking Romeo and Juliet right now? I answer, and then I click turn in. And at that point, it actually tells me how my fellow classmates answered. Now, finally, I have the entire classwork done because I see everything is great. All three assignments that were originally brew are all gray now. So now I click on view my work and it shows that everything has been turned in on the right side. And when I actually get the grade back from my teacher, this is where it will appear. So that's it. That was the Google Classroom tutorial for students. Hopefully you enjoyed it and more importantly, you actually learned how to use Google Classroom from it. If you have any questions, do leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. And I make a lot of videos like this, so if that appeals to your interests, consider subscribing. This is Pax Any Pepper saying peace out, stay vibrate, and don't forget, sometimes life's best lessons are in the stories we hear least. Have an awesome day, guys.